So we're back with our final two problems for this section. Uh, these two are not necessarily related to your own personal investments, but just a more modeling using exponential functions. And so we are going to need Google Sheets or Excel to do this. And so uh, it's going to be like what we did. I think it was in section 2.5 where we create equations to model a given situation. And so what we've got is the total personal income in the U.S. in billions of dollars for selected years is in the given table. And so this information represents how much money was made in personal income by all uh, people living in the United States in these respective years. And so, and this is in billions of dollars. And so for instance, in 1960, there was about $411 billion made um, in income. And in 2005, there was 10,000 billions, which is 10 trillion. So it's about 10.2 trillion here by the time we get to 2005. So uh, it's obvious that the American, uh, American people are making way more money uh, now than they were 45 years ago. So we're asked to create a scatter plot with X being the number of years past 1960. And so recall when we do this, we do need to insert a column and say years past 1960. And so here at zero years past 1960, there is 10, there is 20, there is 30. This is 40 years past 1960 and 45 years past 1960. And we only want these two columns when we make our graph. So I'm just going to move my iPad out of the way a little bit more here. So get these two columns. This is the only information we want. We do not want that one. And I'm actually going to have to remind myself how to do this because it's been a while. So I need to insert a chart. And I need to change that to be a scatter plot, a scatter chart. And if you if you want a, a better, more in-depth tutorial of how to do this, you can go back and watch the one from section 2.5. It is the exact same stuff. We're just sort of repeating something we've done previously. And then the next thing, everyone, we need to go to customize and find, was it series? Yep. And we need to add a trend line. And we need to change for these. This time we are working with exponential functions. And so we don't want a linear trend line. That actually fits the model terribly. We want an exponential trend line. And I just shut my trend line off. I don't know why that's happening to me. And then for how do we go about getting the equation on there? Was it data labels? Yes, it was. And so we want data labels. No, not data labels. Schlegel. Oh, down here. So underneath tread line, we see label. We want to say use equation. And that will produce the equation for us right there. We can just copy the equation straight up out of there and paste it somewhere. So I'll put the equation up here. So then we use our model to predict the U.S. income in the year 2020. And so that would have been just last year. I'm making this video in 2021. So if we add a line there, 2020 is 60 years past 1960. We're going to predict uh, how much goes in here using this equation. And so... We'll take that value, put it or that that equation that we have, put it into Wolfram, and then X was the number of years past 1960. 2020 is 60 years past 1960, so we're going to swing that in there, and we get a prediction of 38289.67. So 3828. 9.67, if I was to round it, it would be 0. 0.7. And so recognizing that this is in billions of dollars, it this model predicts that the personal income of people living in the United States in the year 2020 is going to be $38 trillion, or $38 trillion, $289 billion, $700 million. That's a lot. So I'm going to put my answer for that right here, everyone. Uh, B, the model predicts. And in 2020, the personal income 
of those in the U.S. will be 38 trillion, 289 billion, 700 million, That is a gigantic number. That is a whole lot of money. And I was, uh, in my first job, I made $7 an hour. That's pretty sick right there. So in what year does the model predict that the total U.S. personal income will reach $35 trillion? Well, it looks like we're already past that by the year 2020. So let's go back to our model. We're going to put T back in here for time. And we are wondering when we're going to reach $35 trillion. So that's going to be 35000 uh, billions get to 35 trillion and it looks like it's at, it's predicting 55 years after 1960 so 55 years after 1960 would be the year 2015 so the model predicts that in 2015 Personal income, those in the U.S. will exceed $35 trillion. Again, that's a whole lot of money. All right, we'll be back for problem six in just a moment, and it's awfully late at night, so I'm sort of glad that I'm almost done with these problems for today.